Hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. This is not just a quote, but a mindset that I carry with me every day of my life. This creed was instilled in me by no one other than my mother at a very early age. To give some background about my mom, I'll start with the fact that she's an immigrant. She emigrated to this country from Guyana, South America in 1996 to pursue a career in nursing. Now, not only did she achieve her goal of becoming a nurse, she also became a nurse practitioner, opened up her own family practice in Maricopa, and she's even went back to school, receiving her master's in legal studies, and now she is a health care law specialist. She allowed no barriers to get in her way on her path to achieving her goals, whether it be obtaining a green card, obtaining citizenship in this country, nothing could stop her on her way to success. And she instilled the same hard-nosed mindset in me in many ways. For example, I remember coming home from school and setting my bags down to go outside and play basketball, street football, or ride my bicycle with my friends. And it wasn't long before I heard that dreaded voice, that dreaded voice from miles away it seemed like, run! Get in here and watch the wares before me box you down. Now I didn't appreciate it at the time, but I now realize that she was instilling a mindset of hard work in my brain, even if it felt like she took a drill to my forehead and just went to town with it. I also remember days coming home from school feeling discouraged. Discouraged because I wasn't at the top of my class. Discouraged because I couldn't keep up with the top students. Discouraged because I thought they were better than me. And when my mom got home, she would see this look on my face that personified powerlessness and helplessness. And the first thing she would say to me was, get that look off your face before me really give you something to cry about. Mind you, she already knew what I was sad about. A mother's intuition is no joke. But what followed was something so insightful, so impactful, so empowering that fueled me to succeed. She told me that those other kids may have more natural talent, more of a support system at home, more money. But I have something they didn't have. An opportunity to succeed against all odds. So I carry this with me every day to school, focusing on what I can control, which is my work and nothing else. Fast forward to the end of eighth grade, the last day of the second semester. I came in that day with a quiet confidence, just knowing that I had put in the work and I could be comfortable with the results. My teacher let us know that she had posted the final grades and so I opened up my student portal. And there it was. For the first time in my ac academic career, I had achieved all A's. I wasn't just excited, happy. Most importantly, I was proud. Proud of all the hard work that I had put in to get to that point. I couldn't help but look back and reflect on how far I had come. Work!